Will meditation help me? That is a question I get all the time. My friends and my family, my colleagues know me as the meditation guy uh, because I'm so open about it and they're always coming to me for kind of tips and uh, um, advice on how to meditate. Now, I'm gonna talk through what meditation has done for me personally, how I meditate and some of the science behind it. Now, what I found is that a lot of people with cobwebs in their mind, with a bit of fog, they know that they should meditate or at least try to meditate, but they just can't bring themselves to do it. I find that it's not really deemed as important or integral to their routine, I guess, um, which is strange to me because as humans, we're always thinking, our mind is always ticking. You know, for example, myself, I'm always thinking about the next thing. So I have a task list and I have to tick things off. You know, what do I need to do now? What do I need to do in half an hour? What do I need to do this evening? What do I need to do next week? So you never really get to enjoy the present. Now there's a saying in one of my favorite movies, um, Kung Fu Panda, which goes like this. Yesterday's history, the future is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Now it's very key to enjoy the present, the here and now, this moment in time, because as somber as it sounds, you never know what is around the corner. Now something life has taught me, over the past, I'd say two years, uh, there have been uh, incidents in my life where my life was going very well, my career was good, um, you know, my family life, my relationships, I was enjoying life, and then something out the blue comes and sweeps you off your feet, and it, you know, and these incidents did rock me for a good few months because it just shows you how fragile we are as humans and how anything can happen at any point in time. So just enjoy every moment, even if it feels stressful at that moment in time, it is absolutely key to enjoy that moment. So when I'm, for example, um, chilling with my family, I try to snap out of thinking in the future. I just wanna enjoy that moment there and now and forget about everything. And um, that's also why I go to the gym quite often as well, is because when I'm training, I'm just merely focused on that moment in time because that's what gym does right you have to focus on lifting the weight you have to focus on running the next minute and punching the punch bag for another three minutes that's a form of meditation that people don't really understand. A study in 2011 from the Harvard Medical School examined the effects of meditation. And what they found was that there is a clear link between meditating and then being able to process new information. The study included taking 17 people on an eight week meditation program. And then after that eight week meditation program, the uh, brains were studied and examined. And what they found was that the grey matter had increased which is responsible for your emotional regulation, your creativity and memory. Meditation encourages you to slow down. It allows time for deeper reflection. Now we all have demons whereby we think sometimes we might not be thin enough or we might not be gaining any muscle or this person's got that or I haven't got this. But when you meditate you truly have a heightened sense of awareness about yourself. You start to find things that that are positive about yourself, positive attributes. You know, you're beautiful, you have a lot to offer to the world and you can change your life at any moment. These are the kind of thoughts that I have when I meditate. When I come in and out of my flow state, I'm realizing that Aaron, you have a lot to offer to the world. You know, you're a kind and beautiful person and you should go and carry on throughout life as you are. Studies have shown that meditation can also lower your cortisol levels, which is a stress hormone, which means that that you're just gonna have a more enjoyable life. Now there's study upon study upon study that's out there behind meditation. But the question is why isn't it taken seriously? It's so, so strange. I know friends around me and family around me that um, I can see that they would benefit from meditation because they have so many spider webs in their head and there's always a bit of fog in their mind. And even though they're there in front of you, they're never truly there, they're thinking about something else. So how is it that I meditate? Well, let me talk you through it now. I personally have a Spotify playlist of 15 songs, which uh, they have a range of frequencies. So you may or may not know about frequencies and how they affect the body and the kind of energy within your body. So that's what helps me meditate personally. I've tried everything. I've tried guided meditation. I've tried looking at a flame, a candle and meditating. Uh, but the one that works for me are the different frequencies. And I find that it really takes me in deep. So. This is my process. I'll find my song 
and uh, firstly I'll put it on repeat because you want it to repeat they're only usually four or five minutes long and I like my meditation to be around 15 minutes so I'll find a nice quiet place in my house I'll sit down I'll cross my legs I'll put my airpods in and I'll start the meditation song and then from there I just take a few minutes just to breathe in and breathe out I'm just focused on my breath your mind will wander from time to time but I'm merely just focused on my breath so for the first two minutes I'm doing that I'm breathing in through my nose for six seconds I'm breathing out through my mouth I'm breathing in I'm breathing out then after those two three minutes pass I find myself really relaxed and just focused my mind's blank I can just see like a black screen on my mind and then that is me meditating I'm just blank I'm just letting it go and I'm just feeling my breath in feeling my breath out and I'll just wait for the song to play for three times and that will equal 15 minutes if it's five, uh, sorry five minutes a song and uh, at the end of it I'll turn the song off and I'll just take a minute to sit there and think again this is something humans don't do we don't tend to sit and think just for a while just it could be anything you know think about your day think about where you are think about your loved ones or think about nothing is really up to you I'll finish my meditation just by sitting for one or two minutes and just thinking whatever comes into my mind comes into my mind and something else that I found that's really profound I can't really explain it to be honest but those one or two minutes after my meditation that I, I, I allow myself to think, I tend to find a lot of answers come to me. Now that sounds very strange, I don't know where they come from, but a lot of answers to my problems do come to me. Um, I would say there's like a voice in my head that tells me, Aaron, you need to do this or you need to do that or do this to solve that problem. It's very profound. But as I said, uh, what I'll do is I'll link a few songs below that will um, kind of be the type of songs that I meditate to. So you can start as well. Again, you can start wherever you are with whatever you have. The key is just to get started. So start to meditate, try it, sit down, find a nice spot, Find your song, find your rhythm, and just meditate and meditate, and your family and friends will definitely see a change in you. But more of from that, something that's more important is that you will see a change in yourself. A saying that I love about meditation is, I can't really tell you or explain what I've gained from meditation, but let me tell you what I've lost. A lot of stress, a lot of anger, a lot of uh, anxiety, these are some of the things that I've lost and that's a great saying so guys I absolutely hope that you take this on board try the meditation for two weeks at least and uh, drop it in the comments below how you meditate um, or if you're planning on meditating that would be absolutely awesome and don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps me and it tells YouTube that this is valuable content that the world should know about so I shall catch you in the next one life extra large thank you Oh, 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 oh,